My name is Heidi von Sternberg, but the children call me Miss V. I have taught math over 40 years. I started noticing that I had students in sixth and seventh grade that really could think mathematically, but they had gaps in their earlier um, education. So I became really interested in the lower grades. I have degrees in math and I have degrees in math pedagogy. And so all that together means I can work with children who need reinforcement, who need extra help to understand. I can also work with children who need enrichment. A typical day for me would be I would um, have a period assigned to work with one homeroom teacher, with one first grade homeroom. That teacher and I would have been in touch before and she would have told me what she wanted to do. Some of the things we've done is she might say she wants me to do the introductory lesson on um, fractions of a circle where there's an activity that we cut paper called picture pie. That might be something. So I would go in the homeroom and teach the lesson to the whole class. So that's a little bit of what I would do with the first grade. I would do something similar with the second grade. With third grade, I've been getting different groups of children on a regular basis. We always start with materials that connect to the child in some way. For example, in kindergarten, if we're learning about sorting, we might ask children to big, bring bottle caps, keys, bread tags, things that connect to their everyday world. Here's some materials that we call jewels. All right, jewels. So people are usually pretty interested in anything you call jewels. And uh, these, I have jewels that come one. I have a jewel that's three. And how many different ways can you make, put seven jewels in a treasure box? Four and three made seven. But if you remember that four could be made up of three and one, four is really another name for four is one more than three. You use something you know to solve something that you don't know. I'm not dogmatic about uh, the pedagogy, except that I do think it has to go from concrete and pictorial and then to the symbolic. It's it, especially in the lower school, you must work in that way. We do teach beginning, uh, we've started this year, the Singapore uh, pedagogy is well known for something called the bar model. And it's a way of visualizing relationships. So you draw bar models to represent addition and subtraction. You have a bar model that represents part, part, whole, and you have a bar model that would represent comparison. This helps because then you take a word problem, which is in words, and you put all the information in a graphic form. And for many people, that's, that is very, very helpful. To me, math uh, is everywhere. This is really my belief. Math is everywhere. Math is, makes sense. Math is useful. Math is beautiful. 